to the minister, you claim to protect the most vulnerable, but your cuts are directly hurting Britain. Why are you failing her? The Minister of Health. Mr. Speaker, um, I, I just want to share with you that if school authorities are not restoring services or hiring the staff they require, they do this in spite of having an additional $120 million across the province in additional budget for this year. Under the old model, we saw students uh, who were going into the higher grades decline in the supports that they received. So with the new specialized learning supports funding, they receive over a half a billion dollars more across the province so that supports can be provided right through from grade 12, from kindergarten to grade 12. The Leader of the Opposition. Hayden Thibodeau is four years old. He was born deaf. This minister's changes to Puff meant Hayden was 16 days too old to receive speech therapy in his public school. Now his parents are paying for a private school. Harrison Wigmore is five years old. He has a genetic condition which causes language delays. This minister cut off a full year of help from a speech pathologist, and they can't afford to hire their own to the minister. Why is there $4.7 billion for corporations, but you're cutting critical supports that impact these kids for a lifetime? Mr. Speaker, um, as I've said many times in the House before, program unit funding continues to be a cornerstone of our funding model, the new funding model. We are one of the only provinces to fund early intervention at a very young age of two years, uh, eight months in Alberta, and I'm very proud of that. Early intervention is critical to ensuring future success for our children. And with the new funding model, we ensure that there are no um, gaps in the service for children. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Not true. Minister, this is Britlin. This is Harrison. This is Hayden. The faces of the children that you are hurting. I'm going to table these documents and I hope the Minister takes the time to look at their faces. It's time she stopped denying the facts, denying their stories and denying their pain. Pain she is causing. Minister, at the very least, will you do us all the favour and never, ever again try to pretend that you have the smallest amount of concern for the vulnerable children of this province, ever again. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Eligibility for PUF has not changed and the funding cap does remain at 25,000. Our changes that were made do close the gap, ensuring that no child falls through the cracks, especially when they transition from kindergarten to grade one. And as I said earlier, I am a rehabilitative practitioner by profession, and I understand that early intervention is essential for student success, and we are doing everything possible to ensure that our students are successful, not just preschool, but also from K to 12. Here, here.